number five. Braden Shager, Hawaii. Braden Shager has come a long way since joining the team. He was third in the conference in passing yards last season, fourth in TV passes. And because he wanted to improve on so many facets of his game, sophomore quarterback remained in the islands this summer and spent a lot of time on the mental aspect of his game, digging into the playbook and learning the run and shoot offense. Physically, he even gained some muscle weight and has really looked like the leader they hoped he would become during camp. One of three players on the offense that very early on was named a starter. Number four. Clay Millen, Colorado State. Well, Clay Millen's entering his third year in this air raid offense. His second as a starter, there's no doubt he's going to be very comfortable with this offense. And last year, you looked at the fact that he completed 70% of his balls. It's an FBS freshman record. The Ram offense was not very good. One of the worst offenses in FBS. Now, protecting Clay Millen last year was a big part of that. He was sacked 55 times. Two things stand out, though, to me. One is Clay Millen used to get up after every single sack. He showed a level of toughness that you know resonates in the locker room. And two, this spring, Clay Millen, let me shoulder some of the burden for those sacks. They, he didn't get rid of the ball in time. Shows a level of maturity. If the offensive line has improved this year, Clay Millen should put up some very big numbers. Number three. Doug Brumfield, UNLV. Doug Brumfield entered the 2023 offseason as the un- contested starter for the first time in his career, which is going to do wonders for his confidence. Add to that the fact that he attended the Manning Quarterback Academy, um, the Manning Passage Academy, which I'm sure endowed him with plenty of intangibles to bring back to his team and add to his success from last year. Remember, his best game last season, in my opinion, was a 21 for 27 uh, attempt game against North Texas, where he passed for 211 yards, two touchdowns through the air, and not to mention 100 yards on the ground and two touchdowns rushing the ball as well which displayed his versatility and the potential that he has as a passer for this Rebel team. Injuries have been a concern for Doug, and to counter that problem, Coach Barry Odom and his staff implemented a strength and conditioning program that has added 17 pounds to a 6'5", 6'6", frame. So Doug Brumfield now has the physical tools to last for the Rebels this season. I think availability was his biggest issue coming into the season. Now, the strength of his arm, the strength of his legs, and the speed that he has in that dimension will add elements to the go-go offense that will take Doug Brumfield to the next level. Number two. Taylor Green, Boise State. Taylor Green is Boise State's dual threat quarterback. He's got the size, 6'6", 223 pounds, as well as the athleticism. He can run away from you. Just ask Utah State on his game-clinching 91-yard touchdown run. He led Boise State to an 8-2 record when he moved into the starting lineup at quarterback and was named the Mountain West Freshman of the Year. Taylor Green now has the experience and the weapons around him to make him an awesome quarterback. Number one. Chevin Cordero, San Jose State. When you talk about the top quarterbacks in the Mountain West Conference, Chevin Cordero needs to be at the top of your list. The Honolulu Hawaii native was spectacular in 2022, his first season at San Jose State. He threw for 3,251 yards while completing 61% of his passes. He accounted for 32 touchdowns, 23 in the air, and nine on the ground. And along the way, he only threw six interceptions. With over 9,400 career yards passing, this dual threat quarterback seems to be very comfortable in OC Kevin McGibbon's offense. My hunch, aloha may mean goodbye to many a team in 2023. 